guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have another video in the species profile series and we're going to be talking about the eastern mud turtle or Latin known as Kindosternum subrubrum. Yeah, it's kind of a complicated name, but let's hop into the five categories about the mud turtle. Starting off with the size and appearance of the eastern mud turtle, this is a pretty small turtle. It only gets to about two to four inches and only weighing about a pound. Now this turtle is going to have a brown, black, or yellowish tinged shell. It's more often going to be brown with maybe some black or yellow mixed into it. And then the body is also a similar color, whether it be brown, but some individuals do have a lighter color and it looks more white, but that's a lot rarer. But also across the face and other parts of the body, you might all so see some yellow and or some white, which is just some facial markings. It's usually not found on other parts of the body, but it is very common on the face. So now let's get into the diet of this turtle. So this turtle is an omnivorous turtle, like most turtles are, and it mainly feeds on fish, carrion, insects, and plant matter. And now the range and the habitat, it's pretty much all of the southern region in New Jersey. It's found in highly vegetated and oxygenated water, often in rivers, lakes, swamps, with a sandy or a muddy bottom. Because they don't really swim, they more walk on the bottom. Which is also why they're often found in areas with slower currents, like a pond or, some, or a swamp, because that's an easier place to go. And in rivers, they're often found in slower moving rivers. Um, they also can be found in fresh or brackish water, which is actually really interesting. So now let's get into the range of in New Jersey. As I said before, they are in the southern region more, but they can also be found in Mercer, Middlesex, Union, Essex, Hudson, Bergen, Somerset, Hunterdon, Morris, and Passaic counties in the state of New Jersey. They can be found other places in other states, but that's where they're found in New Jersey. Now let's talk about the number that I found and a few tips. I actually haven't found any. They are a kind of rare turtle, they are small, and I haven't done much swamp turtling, as I call it. But the best time to look for them is between mid-May to June. That's when they're most active. So now let's start talking about the interesting facts about these guys. So these guys are actually found all the way from New York to Texas, which is a pretty large range. And they have a small isolated population in Indiana. Um, but they also do often cross land for long distances of time. So these aren't a fully aquatic, these are a fully aquatic turtle, but you might see them crossing land if the pond or swamp that they're in dries up as they're looking for more water. But they're also called mud turtles for a reason. They actually will burrow one to three feet in the mud, either to hibernate, which isn't as common because when you're bermating, you want a flow of oxygen, but more often in estivation, which is when a lot of the water in the pond might dry up. So they'll dig down to where it's a lot moister and they can stay wet while they wait for the next rain to come and give them that life bearing water. All right, so if you guys like this video and you found the Easter mud turtle interesting, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna see more like this, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any tips to help me find some eastern mud turtles because I actually haven't found any in the state of New Jersey, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video.